Let's see how a facility manager uses BIM Genie. The facility manager has many ways to access BIM Genie, from lists to detailed views, color-coded floor plans, and if it's been added to the system, specific details, all the way to the component or equipment level. Zoom out and BIM Genie gives a portfolio or site level view of a single campus or multiple sites. Let's have a look at what the facility manager or administrator can do with BIM Genie. The facility manager or administrator can filter and export work orders in BIM Genie. A list can show 10, 20, 50, or all work orders. In default mode, a list of 10 work orders per page appears. Or filter a list of work orders that includes just the past week. To use archiving, hide from view, work orders that have been completed, or work orders that have been resolved and no longer needed. As the page is being refreshed, the archived work orders are no longer visible on the page. BIM Genie is useful to keep track of resources. Use BIM Genie to see a list of available technicians. Use a filter to show incomplete work orders, making it a useful way to keep track of resources. Use BIM Genie for preventive maintenance scheduling. For example, here's a compressor that gets a bi-monthly check. Since the individual components have been added to BIM Genie, the tech can use this information when he performs the scheduled bi-monthly maintenance. Preventive maintenance work orders are automatically generated one week before they are due, where the facility manager can use BIM Genie to assign a tech to the work order. Sometimes it's necessary to use outside contractors. The facility manager can include outside contractors to the BIM Genie work order system. It's as simple as adding the contractor's name and email. Work orders can be sorted by technician or trade. These lists can be modified and or saved in a layout preference set by the facility manager. Like in this example, this layout shows the priority of tasks. The dashboard gives the facility manager an overview of all the work orders. Hover over an individual work order and get an overview of the work order without seeing all the details. As the administrator of BIM Genie, the facility manager can manage settings and specify new work order email addresses, assign passwords, and password expirations. When the facility manager is away, he can assign another person to respond directly to work order requests. BIM Genie has facility data available in a list. The strength of BIM Genie is the data generating this list can create a graphical floor plan that lets the facility manager spot unfinished work orders. For example, this clinic floor plan view allows the facility manager to see work orders that are five days old in yellow and work orders over 30 days in red. Another BIM Genie feature is to view warranty expiration in a graphical format. Let's remove the color coding of this floor plan from the previous demonstration. Typically, warranty expiration is in a list format. With BIM Genie, a floor plan view shows equipment marked in yellow, meaning that within the year, have a look at these pieces of equipment prior to warranty expiration. During the equipment review, a look at the equipment's work order history can show the equipment having excessive repairs. This information gives the facility manager a heads up and plenty of time to contact the manufacturer before the warranty expires. While it won't be covered in this video, some facility managers also use BIM Genie as an asset management tool. BIM Genie connects facility managers directly to the building's data and operations in a simple way. Through a web interface, tens of thousands of work order requests can be listed on a page, sorted through, 
and looked at in detail from dynamically generated color-coded floor plans that confirm a work order's location. Bring the power of BIM to facility management. BIM Genie takes complex data and makes it simple for end users.